So we are going to prove that LP is a Banach space. So we know that it's a normed space. So we need to prove that every Cauchy sequence in LP converges in LP. So uh, we are going to do the, the case for uh, P between P finite and greater than one. The case P equals infinity is, um, is simpler and I let you think about it or, or go to the references. Uh, so let's have a se Cauchy sequence in LP. So here the norm is in LP, the LP norm. So now from this sequence, we are going to extract a subsequence as follows. Uh, so first, uh, you, you pick up a, a N node such that this inequality holds. I just apply the definition of a Cauchy sequence with epsilon equals one divided by two, and I can take any N node greater than capital N, and then this holds. Okay, once I have N node, I can uh, pick up uh, N1 greater than N node, and such that Fn minus Fn1 is less than one divided by two square. Right, so again, I apply the same thing. So note that here I have one and here I have two. So assume now that I have uh, my N node, N1, A, N2, up to N i minus one. So I construct uh, in the same way, Fn minus Fn i, such that this inequality holds, right? But now note that by construction, I have that this inequality holds. Uh, so that I can do the sum, I can sum up all the thing and I get I got that, I got that, uh, this sum is less than one. Okay, so now I can define uh, g k of x here. Oh, sorry. And uh, so if I apply uh, the Beppo Levy uh, monotone convergence theorem, you can find it in the book of uh, Brezis then you can deduce that <coughs> this uh, GK converges almost everywhere and we to a finite limit and we call it, we call this li limit G of X. So once uh, you have your uh, G of X, it means that, uh, so G of X now is 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 this is this object, and it means that you, you can take out the the the, the modulus, and it, it it means that this series here converges absolutely, and this implies because of uh, this is a sum of F and I. Plus one, there's a typo. The plus one is is uh, in the i, minus f and i. So everything cancels, but the last term. So it says that you obtain that in fact f and i 
converges for almost x in omega, almost everywhere in omega. So after that, once you have that, uh, you get back to your initial Fn. CC, it's Cauchy, you, 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 can, you can have this inequality. Uh, but then I can just put the elevate to the P. And from Fatu Lemma, you get this thing from taking the limit on F and I. And this uh, gives you the results. So we just proved that uh, any Cauchy sequence in LP is converges in LP. Yeah, so ne next we, we are going to discuss the finite versus uh, infinite uh, dimensional normal spaces. Yeah, just a few comments on that. So when you, so, so this is our, our thing that are already been studied in previous years. So just a few comments on that. So when you have a finite dimensional space, vector space, then two norms on X are always equivalent. Um, every finite dimensional normal space is a Banach space. Uh, every finite dimensional linear subspace of a normal space is closed. And uh, also when you deal with finite dimensional normal spaces, uh, a compact a subset K is compact if and only if K is closed and bounded. But this is not true in infinite dimensional spaces. So, and, and to see this, you have this theorem and which says that the closed unit ball in an infinite dimensional space is not compact. So next I'm going to give the ideas of, of the proof. Um, so the, the proof of the theorem relies on this lemma. So when you have a normal space and you have a, a closed a linear subspace Y, which is a proper subspace, that means Y is not equal to X. There exists some uh, lowercase X such that X belongs to X, but not to Y. Then you can always find X such that the norm of X is one and the, the minimum of the distance between X and any element of Y is greater than one divided by two. Uh, you can illustrate that with this small example. Let, let Y uh, be this line here in R2. Um, so it's not equal to the wall R2, which is X. And um, if you, you can, if you, if you, if you uh, take the orthogonal line to Y and you pick up uh, any uh, point on the, such that the, the norm of X is one, uh, then you you will have that um for example here the distance is more than one uh divided by two so
So how do you how do you prove how do you prove this lemma? You just uh, pick up so x, which is not um, in y. And since it's not in Y, you have that, you have that, uh, this quantity is more, is, 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 is positive. So you can find a positive G such that this falls. Uh, if this comes from the fact that, this comes from the fact that uh, Y, is uh, is closed, right? So so next, um, from there you can find a Y node here, uh, th such that the distance here between X and Y node is less than two D. This comes from 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 here, and then you you define this Z. You define Z as this quantity, and um, you can prove that Z minus Y is greater than one divided by two. So this comes from uh, this thing, and this uh, estimates here. And once you have your lemma, uh, it's, It's easy from the lemma to construct a sequence of elements with norm one, and you construct you construct it by induction, and you always ensure that the new element is at a distance greater than a half from the span of your previous uh, vectors. And doing that, you ensure this thing. And from this sequence, you cannot extract a convergent subsequence. And that's the end of the proof.